we're, we're getting ready to start and a farm dog showed up. He got the same ears as our logo. Yeah. <laughs> What's up farm dogs? We're gonna go plant today. Finally, we're gonna get a little break of the weather here and it's getting about that time. It's April, April 11th today. So we're gonna start, we're gonna try it out. I uh, gotta run and get a couple things. I get some talc and we'll set up the planter and clean all that. Uh, Rod is actually out working the piece that we're doing. So he's ahead of the ball game there. You always try to keep the field cultivator a day, day ahead. We try to at least. So we're gonna get everything squared away here and, and start planting season of 2024. So let's see what this year's got in store. Here's the seed tender that we use. What we do, boxes sit up on top, go down through the through here and out through the through the auger which goes into the into the planter. So we're gonna load some boxes onto here and we'll be good for a while. these on that's what holds the boxes on so they don't go all over the place and all over the road so we're got seed let's get the planter ready and get headed out to the field so we're all hooked up ready to go dad will start it we'll raise it up get the legs off there pull them up and he's gonna head to the field I'll follow him with the seed tender and uh, spring planting is gonna start right now so Hold on and... There we go, 2024 planting is about to start. Are you ready, Marvin? Yeah, yeah. Born ready. Born ready, right? <laughs> There he's got it unfolded. Now he'll back up, back up to the road and we'll be able to load him up with seed here.
There we go. Got the lids back on. I think we're all good to go. Official start date of 2024 planting season is about to begin. I guess farm dogs are farming so we'll we'll stay in touch with him I'll probably hop in the tractor and and kind of show you how it goes on in there but looks like we're planting so here we are working with the 95 70 I can tell you one thing about farming uh, you're always hungry sitting in here always thirsty the only bad thing is Make sure you look before you grab something, because I don't know if you can see that in there. I just grabbed a moldy tea out of my truck. Didn't even think about it, took a big old swig. Didn't taste right. So there we go. We got the field worked ahead of dad. We got this one, that's where we started. We started right here behind the shop, and we got that done. So we're gonna call it a day. No need to stay up all night the first day. And it's going this easy, so that's a start, and uh, we'll end it on that. All right, back in day two. Uh, just got the feed in the wagon here. Of course, every day we got to feed cattle. Got to take care of that, just like a dog, just like your cat. Got to take care of them, so... We're back here feeding feeding cattle this morning. Dad's actually in the planter. He's going. He's been going since about 6.30, like I said. And uh, But nope, it's about 7.30 right now. So we'll feed and start heading up that way and, and get the tractors moving. We should be good to rock and roll, baby. All right, we're unfolded at the field that we're supposed to work. This is just a little patch right here. And on over there, we, we got about... 200 and some acres here to work. So we'll be here for a little bit. Uh, hopefully go check on dad here. I'll run this for a little bit. Marvin will come in and, and substitute me and I'll go get dad some seed and we'll catch up with him to see how the planting's going. So let's get to work in here and uh, we'll catch up with dad later. So we'll see you when we're with dad. So this is another big thing. As you can see here, the way we're running across, there's a rock and there's a couple more rocks. So a big thing here is, is picking up the rocks because you don't want that messing up your planter. And that's the most important thing because if you don't have a planter, you ain't gonna get it in the ground. So picking up these rocks is always a good thing around here after you work something up. And every farmer can relate. You've worked the ground so many times you start bringing up rocks from God who knows where. So it's always good to just walk around and, and pick them up because you always want your equipment to last. So. We're going to stop here and pick up some rocks. And the field goals. Bad. Still in the field. See, like, look at this big son of a gun. That would tear up a planter right there. So we're... We need to pick them up. So get closer here. Good God goody, that son of a bitch is heavy. So there we go. That's good. And like I said, I'll stop every time I see one or like a stick or anything like that, you want to pick them up because they'll tear it up. So let's get back to working ground. Well, Marvin showed up here, so I'm gonna give him the, give him the field cultivator in the tractor. Uh, Dad needs some seed, so we're gonna go get, get him some seed and Marvin will take over and run this for a little bit. Hopefully he can get this done. And, and we can get dad full of seed and dad should just go right behind me of what I worked. So let's talk to Marvin here and get headed back to Augusta and get some seed. So here we go back at Augusta. He's got about two more hours here. Fun of going back and forth, life of a farmer. Sitting in a seat, 
and seeing the same thing for hours upon hours and going back and forth. But that's why we do it because it's it's a lifestyle. It's it's something we always like to do and being a farmer man, that's what the farm dogs do. So there we go. Got got the empty stacked up. Uh, kind of new to all this stuff, so we're just kind of going as we can, but you can stack the corn once the boxes are empty. So now we got an empty now I got an empty trailer, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to one of the local elevators that we didn't get seed from this year. Uh, like I said, it's our first year doing it, so we didn't want to get everything here and have it mess up and stuff like that. So we're gonna run to a local town named Bowen, get the seed, we'll bring one back, drop it off, put one of dad's on, because we're gonna plant one of dad's fields. So we'll have one of Marvin's seed on and one of dad's seed on, and then we'll be, we'll be good to go there for a little bit, so. Well, loaded up, freaking wind's blowing a thousand miles per hour. Imagine that here in Illinois. But we're headed back and headed back to Augusta. Made it back to the seat shed, so now we're just gonna take the take the forklift and drop one off and, and put another on. So let's get to it. Got dad's seat on now. Like I was saying before, Marvin and dad, we, we all farm together, so we kind of do everything together and kind of make up for everything at the end. So like that, we're playing Marvin stuff right now, but we're gonna move to dad's field. He's got a field right next to Marvin's, so that's why we're putting dad's seat on right now, so we can just keep going and keep planting as kind of a whole. But it don't really matter as long as it all gets done. But now we gotta fill up. I know this little motor on here, takes gas we got a gas can we'll fill up our motor here we'll fill it back up with some talc and uh we should be good to go and uh it'll take dad about i think it boxes about the acres so he should be good to go for a while all right dad just got done playing that we're back here we're gonna fill him up with seed and he should be good for a while He's full on seed, so he should be good for a while here. So we'll we'll keep communicating and keep going. And he's off. So now we'll. We'll keep talking with Marvin here and we'll keep the we'll keep the field culture in, cultivator in front of him. So we're good good again. Keep farming. About 840. We got that field done there. So looked pretty good there. Dad's still out planting, going like hell. So day two of, of planting looks pretty good. So we'll hit her hard net tomorrow, early morning and and go all day again, so let's keep planting. Day three, we're back at it. Just got done feeding here. We're gonna run into, into Augusta. Uh, we got some a little bit of weeds in some fields, so we're gonna hook up what we call the soil finisher. It kind of has some more shanks and some more baskets and stuff like that, so we're gonna go hook that up to one of dad's tractors and and worked up them uh, work up them weeds because we're just dragging with the field cultivators. So hopefully we can get through them with that and and keep on planting. So let's get to Augusta. 
So here's the soil finisher I was talking about. And Dad's just getting here with the other tractor, so we'll get this hooked up. And like I said, the the baskets up front or the discs up front that chops up the ground better, and then of course the shanks, and it kind of it just kind of get breaks it up a little more, and that's what you need when you got weeds. You just need it broke up and and have it all laying there. So let's get hooked up. There we got it hooked up. We're gonna take it out to Marvin's shop and go over it, maybe air up some tires and make sure it's gonna work here. dealing with it just kind of looks like it's it's all in overgrowth here it almost looks like turf it's just growing on top of the top of the ground here and I don't know if you can see back there but it just bought wadding up and just making a big old ball and uh, for the planter that's not good so we're gonna run over it a couple times here and see see what we can do but this is, this is, I, we've never dealt with this because it just, it just wadded up. So we're going to keep going and we'll stay in touch here and, and we'll try to get some seed in the ground. Last night, didn't get it on video, but we're back here at the shop. Uh, ended up breaking down, so we're we're struggling with some big weeds. Uh, so we're gonna hook up another another implement that kind of cuts them up and stuff like that. This didn't do the trick, but you know with that broke down, we'll have to fix it sometime. So with the good weather, though, we can't we can't stop moving. So we're gonna go back to the field and, and keep working, try to get all these weeds down killed and down so dad can go in and plant it right into them so let's let's get back out to the field that we were at and try a different tool so dad just showed up this is the vertical tillage tool that we're going to try here see how it's got it's got more discs on the side so no shanks so hopefully this just cuts them weeds up and and does a little better job instead of just drag up all the time so we're going to try this for a little bit and See what we can do. So there we go. We got that done. Uh, it kind of chopped up the weeds a little better. This this tool right here. It's a vertical till tillage tool. So we'll see how that goes and. Uh, We'll see how that works. We're gonna let it rain. It's supposed to rain Monday, so we'll see how it does after that. But we're gonna leave that lay and and uh, move to another field. Well, we're parked. Parked for this week. Uh, worked on a Sunday here. That's part of planting as you work work seven days a week. Try to get it all in. When the weather's good, you just keep rolling. So we're gonna we're gonna keep on keeping on, and I'll probably end the video here. Hopefully, I can. I showed you guys how we do everything. Hopefully to get some more planter action. Uh, it's pretty hard in corn because you don't really fill up as much. You can plant 100, 120 acres per box. So hopefully when we get to beans, I can show more of the planter and even even run the planter, honestly. That's, uh, that's the goal. So 
hopefully you guys liked the video and uh hey guys please subscribe and and comment on the videos we we really appreciate it and uh we're doing this for you guys so like i always said keep on keeping on guys thank you